Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To Dr. Zulkifli. So my name is Ahmad Kizakwan. So my ID is BF010787. So today I'm going to present my Bursa Malaysia investment game. So uh, now I will explain what is stock market. So the stock market is in the podcast sense referred to the network of exchange and other venues for the purchase, sale and issue of publicly traded company stock. So these financial operations are carried out either through established formal exchange, physical or electronic, or through regulated over-the-counter or TC market. So the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange KLSE was the previous name of Malaysian Stocks Exchange based in Kuala Lumpur. So the KLSE was founded in 1930 with the express purpose of facilitating the trade of Malaysian equities. The exchange has changed its name multiple times over the years but is today known as Bursa Malaysia. Okay, next slide, I will explain the stock market that we invest. So the first one is capital A. So capital A Berha is a trading is a Asia. It's a Malaysian low cost airline with its headquarters near Kuala Lumpur. It is Malaysia's largest airline in terms of fleet size and destination coverage. So Asia conducts scheduled domestic and international flights to over 165 locations in 25 different countries. So next uh, stock market is Malaysia Airport. So Malaysia Airport Holding Berhad is a Malaysian airport management corporation that operates the majority of the country's airports. So the company was recently tasked with the responsibility of managing airport in overseas destination. Okay, so next one is KLK. So what is KLK? So Kuala Lumpur Kepung Bahad is a multinational corporation based in Malaysia. So the group primary business is plantation. The company owns and operates plantation in Malaysia and Indonesia totaling more than 250,000 hectares. So the last one that I uh, invest is Fraser and Neve Holding Sirjan Bahad FNN. It's an investment holding company based in Malaysia. The company subsidiary makes and sells soft drinks, dairy products, glass container, participate in property development and provide management services. Okay, let's move on to the next slide, which is the technical indicators. So in this investment game, I use RSI indicators. So the relative strength index RSI is a momentum indicator used in technical Analyze to determine if a stock or other asset is overbought or oversold. So the SI is represented graphically as an oscillator, a line graph that oscillates between two extremes and has a range of 0 to 100. So uh, uh, J. Willis Wilder Jr. invented the indicator and published it in his important 1978 book named as new concept in technical trading system. So according to conventional wisdom, RSI value more than 70 suggests that an investment is becoming overbought or overvalued and may be prepared of for a trend reversal or corrective return is priced. So a reading of 30 or less on the RSI indicator indicates an oversold or undervalued state. Okay, next slide is, so uh, this is a return for my best and worst company stock from first week until fourth week. So as we can see on the first week, there is slightly return that I managed to get, which is 2.75%. Then on the second and third week, also there is increasing on the stock, but unfortunately, on the fourth week, there is declining, which is 5.62%. So this is because of rumors along the investment on aviation company such as Malaysia Airport and Capital A. Okay, next slide is the graph of my portfolio. So we can see there, there is increasing on the first until third week. But when into the fourth week, there was very huge declining on the graph. So next we move to comparison stock. The first one, profit, profitable stock. Kuala Lumpur Kepung, Kepung Berhad uh, was the company that uh, have a profitable stock which is uh, the first week they get 25.20% uh, and then they increase to 26.2% then 
and for the week 3 is uh, 27.22% and the last one is 28.1% while capital A uh, they drop from 0.72% uh, to 0.69% that's all from me thank you today i will present to you guys about weekly return and four weeks average the total of weekly return is 20.5 percent how to get 20.5 percent is when well, we calculate all the portfolio performance the first one is is uh 2.755 percent and the second one is 4.70 percent the third one is 7.43 percent and the last one is 5.62 percent and we will get 20.5 percent for the weekly return and for the week for the four weeks average the total is 5.125 percent how to get that uh, we need to calculate we need to divide it by four weekly return 20.5 percent divided by four and we will get 5.125 percent okay so let's move on to the last slide which is the strategy used along this journey so my first strategy is commit towards the plan so successful trader act quickly but not think quickly so they created a trading strategy and the discipline to stick to it so it is better to stick to your recipe than pursue your profit so be careful not to allow your emotion override your strategy so in this investment game i have uh, made a plan uh, towards the uh, investment at the first place so as the beginner i try to uh, find the best strategy for beginners that suit to me so let's move on to the next strategy which is organized trades accordingly so many investors and traders order start executing as soon as the market open so contributing to price volatility so a seasoned player may be able to spot patterns and pick profitably so for beginners like me it's best to simply observe the market for the first 15 to 20 minutes Okay, so the my last strategy that I use is knowledge is better. So aside for basic trading skill, traders must keep up with the current stock market news and development. So study, make a wish list of equities you want to trade and stay up with the company and markets. Examine businesses, news and financial website. So in this investment game, I refer on the website and the news so I can uh, make a best investment on what stock that I will invest it. So, uh, so my experience that I I heard rumors that uh, aviation company will go up, but unfortunately, the aviation companies going down after that. So it's better um, to have more knowledge, more on more about investment. So uh, that's all from me. So. First thing first, I want to thank uh, to Dr. Skifri so giving this opportunity to give us this experience to invest in Bursa Market uh, Malaysia. So uh, before this, I never invest in Bursa Market. So before this, I used to invest in uh, apps type of investment and ASB. So this uh, investment, there is no need to uh, look up or to research doing research do, uh, to the investment of stock so uh, this is good opportunity to experience the um, this type of game and and I will uh, improve my investment and I will do more research so be, uh, so that after this I will invest and do a better investment on the bursa market so that's it. That's all from me. Uh, thank you.